This is episode three. Welcome. If you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, I am sorry, but I will be talking about Beauty and the Beast again today because I saw the live action movie last week, a week ago. I am completely and utterly obsessed with it. Like, okay, I'll be real, like, of all of the Disney live action movies, this is the one I was really, really excited for. Like the others is like, cool, you're making one. I don't know how I feel about it because, you know, the animations are so good. And um, by creating these live actions, it you know, it's saying, you know, hey, us at Disney, we, well, you know, we're doing this for the money. We're not necessarily doing this for the story anymore. Um, it's... From what I'm getting, it's like we're gonna we're gonna spend our money in a lot and do these live actions to revive these stories that don't necessarily need reviving for these new generations of kids when we could be focusing on some newer stories. But uh, we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna um, redo some older stories and make them live action. Okay, so Beauty and the Beast, favorite uh, classic Disney movie. Love it. She's my favorite Disney princess, I'd say. Beauty and the Beast was like so good. And um, unpopular thought, but I really like Emma Watson as Belle. I think she she looks like Belle and she, you know, it's good and everything. And then I was reading stuff, apparently like a lot of people were like, why did she get this if she can't sing well? But um, I've been watching behind the scenes stuff and unless if they put the like final audio over top of it, like she sings fine. The only song that I have a problem with is Belle because it sounds weird. I, it's either the way it's sung or just Emma Watson, for some reason, had trouble singing it because they. it sounds like they had to use auto-tune for it and it sounds like really technical and there's this one little lyric, the lyric Little People, that really bugs me, but, you know, compared to everything else, completely fine. Um, the music is so good. There's new music in it and I've been listening to that soundtrack multiple times this week. It's just really good. My favorite is The Beast's new solo, Evermore. Like, really good. And also just the whole thing about Dan Stevens, like, doing the entire movie on stilts. That's a fun thought to have, because it's certainly interesting. I don't know. Just really obsessed with Beauty and the Beast this week and currently. A lot more obsessed than I expected I was going to be, if I'm being honest. Like, I was not expecting myself to get so obsessed over this movie because I was kind of, I was being critical about it and I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. Um, also, I think it's just my bias toward the live action and growing up with the animated, didn't know how I felt about that. Like, not really excited about the new Lion King movie, not excited about uh, the Mulan movie. They better not screw it up or else they're going to, like, they're going to have riots on their hands. There's already proven that there's been riot, riots on their hands. And stuff like that. Yesterday I watched the uh, newer Jungle Book movie and I grew up with the animation. I don't necessarily remember it. I don't remember it as well as the others because I watched it a lot but um, just now in my uh, older older stage I didn't remember it as well as I had the other animated movies and I did not remember that King Louie was such a meanie. Like he was just rude and scary and like I just did not remember he was like that it was weird I really liked the way they did Maleficent where how you know when they did um, Sleeping Beauty's live action how it was different from the ooh oh tee shots sometimes are not pleasant how it was different from the original story because this time it focused on Maleficent's story rather than Aurora's because we already know that so I think it's like beneficial if they add something new to it or change it or look at it from a different direction and stuff. That's it for this episode. Tune in next week. I'll see you soon. Bye.